Tonight is a glorious night, the most glorious night. Tonight is a holy night, the most holy night. Together, let's think about the Christmas story. Let's imagine the night when Jesus was born. What would we have seen? What would we have heard? What happened long ago on that glorious and holy night? Act one, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. Joseph and Mary had traveled to the town of Bethlehem. They had gone a very long way and it was already dark when they arrived. They needed a place to stay for Mary was ready to give birth. Joseph asked the innkeeper for a room where they could stay, but there was no room for them in the inn. Joseph and Mary found shelter in a stable where at least it would be warm and dry, but a stable a stable is where animals live, animals like cows and horses. At this time, friend, I need your help with the sound effects. I want all of us to make our best cow sound. Can you moo like a cow? Moo, moo. And let's whinny and neigh like horses. Good, very good. Then the moment that all creation had been waiting for was finally here. The baby was born. Let's all say, hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Let's say it again. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Gently, Mary cradled the baby in her arms and laid him in the manger. They named the baby Jesus, for he would save his people from their sin. And now let's sing a verse of Away in a Manger. Act two, the angels and the shepherds. The people who were first told the good news of Jesus's birth were the shepherds. Now this part of the story incorporates more sound effects and to tell the story well, I'm gonna need your help. Whenever I say the word shepherds, I want you to make the sound of a deep sigh. Ah, ah. Can you do that? Let's all do it together. Ah, ah, good. Now, whenever I say the word lambs, I want you to make the sound of a soft ba sound, like this. Ba, ba. Can you do that with me? Let's all do it together. Ba, ba. Good. I hear the sound of shepherds and their flocks. Very good. Now, I want everybody, whether you're a child or an adult, to join me in making the sound of the wind. Whenever I say the word wind, I want you to go like this. Very good. Okay, let's all practice our parts together. Shepherds. Ah, ah. Lambs, ba, ba, wind. Very good. I think we got it. So let's continue with our story. It was a dark and chilly night. There was a cold wind. In a lonely field were some weary shepherds. Ah, ah. 
They were watching over their precious little lambs. Ba, ba. Through the field blew the cold wind. To keep warm, the lambs snuggled together. Ba, ba. The shepherds pulled their cloaks tight around their bodies. Ah, ah. Suddenly, the night sky became brighter and brighter until it was filled with a beautiful light. An angel of the Lord appeared. She raised her hands and said, Fear not. I bring you good news of great joy. Today, in the city of David, which is Bethlehem, a baby is born. He is the Savior, Christ the Lord. Then a whole host of angels appeared, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Can you say it with me? Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. The shepherds ah, ah, said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem and see the Christ child. And that's exactly what they did. And now we're going to sing a verse of the first Noel. Three, the wise men. Now, let's think about the wise men. In this next part, we have more sound effects, and to tell the story right, we need your help at home. We have the wise men represented by the sound of a very deep, very wise thought. Let's rub our chins as we make the sound of very deep, very wise thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Of course, our friends from the East rode camels, represented by the sound of click clocking. And so now I want you to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and make a click clocking sound like this. Can you do that? Let me hear you. Very good. Okay, I think we are ready to continue. In the East were wise men, hmm, hmm, who studied the stars in the sky. When Christ was born in Bethlehem, they saw a new star that was greater and brighter than any star they had ever seen before. They said to themselves, it's a sign. So they loaded up their camels. 
with food, supplies, and gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They traveled over tall mountains, across raging rivers, and through endless deserts. They traveled for days, weeks, and months. Finally, the star stopped over Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. The wise men, hmm, hmm, climbed down from their camels. They offered precious gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and they knelt before the baby and worshiped him. Friends, let's sing a verse of We Three Kings together. So there you have it, my friends, our homemade manger scene. As our service draws to a close tonight on this Christmas Eve, I invite you to bow your heads and join your hearts with mine in prayer. Let's pray. Oh God, as we prepare to leave this place, may we shine as brightly as the star of Bethlehem who led others to Jesus. May we be as swift as the shepherds who were so eager to meet the Christ. May we be as wise as the wise men who offered their best gifts before the Lord. We pray, O oh God, not that you would make the children like adults, but that you would make the adults like children. For scripture says, unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. O oh God, this Christmas, let us receive you into our hearts with the awe, wonder, and faith of a child. Amen. Now, friends, let's all praise God together with a verse of Go Tell It on the Mountain. Let's sing. Thank you for joining us, my friends, on this Christmas Eve. We hope you have a very Merry Christmas. And as you go, would you please receive this blessing from the Lord? May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. Good night, my friends, and Merry Christmas.